want to welcome you all here because this is our way at the Australian Human Rights Commission of marking the International Day of Older People. And even though uh, because of that, most of our guests are people who can relate to the International Day of Older People, we do have joining us our very young commissioner, Tim Sudkovasan. Older than I look. <laughs> who is our youngest commissioner, and I'm the oldest commissioner. But David, you're a writer who's written in ancient settings, or about ancient settings, and also modern settings. So how do you reconcile old and new, or ancient and modern? Um, in, in the Australian case, for example, we're often described, or we describe ourselves as a new world country, or a young country, but yet we're home to the oldest continuing civilization in the world. How do we make sense of all this? Oh, look, I think we, um, and this is part of what we do with the cultural together as individuals. Uh, we, we, we take what there is of it that we can make some kind of sense of and that, that somehow um, connects with something that we need to question or answer or talk about. And I, I don't think any of us um, respond to every element in the culture. I mean, we, we, you know, I, when, when I use the word multicultural, for example, what I mean is that what there is out there is a great 50,000 um, ingredients salad, and different people take bits of it and, and make what they can of it. That's what we all do. And so, you know, when we, when we talk about the differences, I mean, people who read um, the Daily Telegraph are, are, are different from they have a different interest and a different range of needs and all this from people who read the Australian or the Sydney Morning Herald or the Monthly. People who watch this program are different from people who watch that program. People who follow, uh, you know, Australian rules football are different from people who are interested in soccer or rugby league. And it goes on and on and on and up like that. Different kinds of music, different kinds of films. We belong to different generations. Uh, children have different. Uh, worlds from adults, men have different worlds from women, uh, yeah, and so on and on and on. And we, 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 out of that enormous mix, we take something which we think of as our culture and we make what we can. So some of us will look around and say that there's an indigenous world there and that does extraordinary things and they are not interested in it. And some people will say, that challenges absolutely the way I look at this or that. We're all free to do it. I'm going to be 80 very in a few months. I don't think, um, somewhere in my head here, I'm sometimes 20 and sometimes five years old and sometimes 45 years old, but I don't think I ever think of myself as being 79. <laughs> and I mean, I might think that. The only the thing that you do have to say is, Okay, I don't have the energy to do this, or um, my eyes won't allow me to do that, uh, or um, if six people are at a table all talking at once, I can't follow it. You know, you, you've got to recognise that those things are happening. But apart from that, somehow in our heads, we're sort of ageless. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, as you can see, we're all intensely interested in what you have to say, as well as what you write and what you broadcast. It's been an absolute uh, joy to have you as our special guest here on the International Day of Older Persons. And I know you think you're, you feel like you're 21, firstly, and I guess we do too. But the fact that you have lived so productively, so creatively, for a few decades is just a source of inspiration for all of us. And you are our age-positive hero for international <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>